Hey there, fellow creators and aspiring filmmakers. Are you in the market for a new camera that won't break the bank? Well, you're in luck because today, we're diving into the best budget cameras of 2024. Number 5. Panasonic LUMI XZ S80 Similar to the Panasonic LUMI XFZ80, the Panasonic LUMI XZ S80 also features an inbuilt zoom lens, but because of its smaller size, it's a better option for travel or informal street photography. With a ton of features and good performance considering the price, it's among the best cheap point-and-shoot cameras we tested. Though not as lengthy as the FC80s, the lens's 24 720 mm equivalent focal length is still sufficient to zoom in on far-off objects. Although the image quality isn't particularly good, this camera works well for informal portraits of loved ones. Additionally, it features a flip-up screen that makes taking selfies easy. For bright days when viewing the screen is challenging, you even get a tiny viewfinder. At a fair price, it's a decent little camera. The Panasonic LUMI XZ S80 is a compact point-and-shoot camera that is lightweight and convenient to transport. Number 4. Canon EOS RP The full-frame CNOS sensor of the EOS RP, which boasts a resolution of 26.2 megapixels, allows for excellent low-light performance and high-quality image capture. Its lightweight and small design is one of its unique qualities, which attracts photographers who appreciate portability without compromising image quality. Because the EOS RP uses Canon's RF lens mount technology, it may be used with an increasing variety of high-quality RF lenses, increasing the creative possibilities available to users. With Canon's dual-pixel CMOS AF technology, the camera can focus on subjects quickly and precisely for both still images and videos. With the camera's Vary Angle Touchscreen LCD, users can effortlessly navigate through settings and create photographs from a variety of perspectives. It has a crop factor, which may be a problem for videographers looking for wide-angle shots even though it can record 4K video. The Canon Camera Connect software facilitates seamless image sharing and remote control features thanks to the device's integrated Wi-Fi and Bluetooth capabilities. With the electronic viewfinder on the EOS RP, photographers may capture images of the subject in excellent definition, even in direct sunlight. The Dai GIC8 image processor from Canon, which is integrated into the camera, enhances image quality, saves power, and operates quickly. The EOS RP excels in low light conditions and has a broad ISO range. Because of its adaptability, users may take detailed pictures in a range of lighting conditions. With the camera's creative shooting modes, like Creative Assist, users may easily adjust the parameters to achieve the desired look for their photos. With the long battery life of the LPE17, users may shoot for extended periods of time before needing to recharge. Customers have access to a wide range of lens options thanks to the EOS RP's compatibility with adapters for Canon's extensive EF and EFS lens lineup. With the camera's time-lapse movie feature, users may create aesthetically pleasing time-lapse films directly from the device. The EOS RP is a wonderful option for photographers of all skill levels because of its good build quality and comfortable grip, even though it is less expensive. Number 3. Nikon D3500 if you are new to photography and have never used a camera before, the Nikon D3500 is the best, most economical camera for you. This low-cost DSLR is distinguished by its exclusive guide mode, which walks you through the principles of photography so you can learn as you go. It's an excellent camera for those who are just starting out. Though it is a more basic camera than the Canon EOS Rebel T7 slash EOS 2000D, it nevertheless has an excellent high-resolution APS-C sensor. Aside from that, you can shoot all day without worrying about running out of juice in the middle of the day because it is lightweight and small for a DSLR and has a long battery life. As your skills improve, you can also upgrade to a broader selection of appropriate lenses. You might have to settle with a used model as the D3500 has been discontinued. For travel, the Nikon D3500 is a suitable camera. Outstanding image quality and a broad dynamic range are provided by its sensor for an entry-level APS-C camera. Its exceptional battery life enables it to effortlessly last through long days spent on the run. Among the most portable DSLRs available is this one as well. In contrast to mirrorless competition, it is still very heavy, and the autofocus system is quite rudimentary, with only the middle of the picture being able to focus and imprecise tracking for moving things. 
The Nikon D3500 has excellent performance for shooting landscapes. For an APS-D camera, its performance is respectable. It has enough dynamic range to record more details in the highlights and shadows. Its noise performance is likewise respectable, enabling you to take pictures in challenging lighting situations without making excessive noise. It's also quite comfortable to shoot with and incredibly portable for a DSLR. The camera feels like it was made of cheap plastic and is not very sturdy. Its fixed screen further complicates taking low-angle pictures. A good camera for wildlife and sports photography is the Nikon D3500. It is challenging to take sharp pictures of moving subjects with this camera because of its slow maximum continuous shooting speed. Its autofocus system is also very outdated, with only a single central cluster of focus points, which prevents it from tracking targets all the way to the corners of the frame. Additionally, it could be challenging to keep up with subjects that move more quickly or irregularly. Positives. The camera has a great battery life and produces outstanding image quality. Number 2. Fujifilm X-T200 The X-T200 was praised for its excellent and reasonably priced design in general. It included 4K video capture, a fully articulating touchscreen, a high-resolution electronic viewfinder, a 24.2 MP APS-C sensor, and the elegant retro style that is characteristic of Fujifilm's X-series cameras. It was perfect for both beginners and experts interested in photography or filmmaking because of its lightweight design and user-friendly interface. A mirrorless camera that is renowned for finding a good balance between cost and functionality is the Fujifilm X-T200. The following key components could make it stand out from other low-cost cameras. Generally speaking, the APS-C sensor on the X-T200 is larger than the sensors on a lot of other low-cost cameras. This enhances the quality of the images, particularly in low light. The retro-inspired looks of Fujifilm cameras, including the X-T200, are well known. Because it is often small and light, the X-T200 is a convenient option for those who want to take excellent road photos. Usually, the X-T200 is equipped with a very angle touchscreen that enables simple menu navigation and flexible framing. Fujifilm is known for using sophisticated autofocus technology, and the X-T200 is no exception. Its fast and precise autofocus technology makes it perfect for taking pictures of moving things. Video recording with the X-T200 is generally good. It can capture 4K video at 30 frames per second. For those who choose to pursue both photography and videography, this makes it beneficial. Modern cameras usually come with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity for convenient sharing and remote operation. The X-T200 frequently has these features, which enable wireless photo transmission and mobile device control of the camera. The X-T200's affordability, when compared to other mirrorless cameras with similar features, is one of its standout features. A high-resolution sensor with about 24 megapixels is typically seen on the X-T200. This makes for clear, detailed photographs. Fujifilm is renowned for its film simulation modes, which replicate the look of film stocks from the past. A multitude of film simulation options are often included with the X-T200, enabling photographers to capture a wide range of artistic trends in their images. Although the back LCD screen of the X-T200 is its primary feature, some users think that an electronic viewfinder, EVF, allows for more accurate composition. This camera's EVF is a feature that may come in handy. The camera frequently has a fast burst shooting speed that enables users to take multiple shots quickly one after the other. This is helpful for catching quick motion or making sure not to miss an important moment. The improved face and eye detection autofocus of the X-T200 increases the accuracy of focusing on people. This is really beneficial for taking portraits. Number 1. Canon EOS R50 The mirrorless technology of Canon's EOS R series is well known for enabling a more lightweight and compact design than that of ordinary DSLRs. Anticipate a big sensor with respectable image quality maybe full frame or APS-C. Although not many megapixels, it is sufficient for most users. The most recent Canon models include advanced autofocus technology. Dual pixel autofocus on the EOS R50 may allow for quick and precise focusing, which is particularly helpful while taking pictures and videos. Video from Canon's EOS R cameras is often of excellent quality. For those who love taking videos, the EOS R50 might include 4K video recording capabilities. Modern cameras come equipped with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth as standard features, making it simple to share images and control the camera remotely via smartphone apps. 
guys, there concludes our top 5 best budget cameras of 2024 list. All product links are in the description, which is updated with the lowest prices. Subscribe to our channel for more videos. Until then, we'll see you in the next video.